Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Ricardo, the Hitman Talavera. And across the cage on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 169 and one half pounds. A striker with knockout power and a record of one win versus one loss. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Rashawn Shona Lewis. Your referee to give final instructions, Danny De Alejandro. Fighters, you all. Obey my commands at all times. Let's come out fighting at the bell. Touch him up. What an entertaining way to kick off the Legacy Fighting Championships number eight. Rashawn Lewis, the man who initially learned mixed martial arts from watching YouTube, graduated college in 2010. So he only began watching and learning MMA as about a year ago. Take you on the Venezuelan born Ricardo Talavera. Talavera in the white and black. Rashawn Lewis, very marketable young man, already has his own line of t-shirts, even though he's got a record of one and one. Talavera, who works in West Virginia, is a petroleum and natural gas engineer. Went to West Virginia University. Inside leg kick from Rashawn Lewis. Lewis, who had an eight-week training camp, worked on picking his shots, not being overly aggressive. We can see that already here. Says he needs to figure out when it's time to hit the pedal in the fights and when it's time to tap the brakes. Inside lead kick from Talavera. On top of the Lewis's stance, now he's stepping forward. He's very aggressive. He's looking for that big hit maker already. It, it could be smart if he knows how to get to it, but it could be a big problem too because you got to remember Talavera is very experienced and understands how to stay in the distance, at least on his feet. Talavera will like to get this one on the ground. He is a four stripes purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If he does go to ground, he'll look for his specialty, the anaconda choke. And in the clinch, standing up, he loves to throw the knees to the head, gets the leg up nice and hard. Just a feeling up process here in the first round of three. Outside leg kick from Rashawn Lewis. Great crown continues to file in here at the Houston Arena Theatre. The Legacy Fighting Championships, which debuted on HDNet in July at number seven, was one of the best nights of mixed martial arts action of the year. We are hoping for the same here tonight. Inside leg kick from Rashawn Lewis, then goes to the outside lead thigh. Nice leg work from Rashawn. Rashawn's a lot more patient than his one-on-one -on -one record shows him, and only having a year worth of experience in training. He's taking his time, I thought for sure, the very beginning, the way he's being aggressive, he's going to step inside quick, and he hasn't done it yet. He's looking for a shot. He's, he's bypassed two, what I thought, two pretty good opportunities so far to get some big haymakers in there. He'll pick a better, quicker little jab instead. Looking for the tight down, he's to Libera, and he gets it. Takes the back here of Rashawn Lewis. Can he sink a choke now? He went right to that body triangle. He's not locked in. Rashawn Lewis, a lot of trouble here. Talavera with that body triangle in. His ankles crossed around his waist. It'll be tough for Lewis to get out of this. Talavera riding him. Lewis still can't escape. Now he gets out of dodge with a bit of fancy footwork. And the crowd responds. What a fight we've got here to kick off Legacy Fighting Championships number eight. Inside leg kick from Lewis. That was all power getting off the bottom, Michael. No technique involved at all. Just as it shows how strong he is and how explosive his body is off the bottom. Talavera had an eight-week training camp in preparation. Worked on his conditioning. Worked on his wrestling and his takedowns. Already in effect here tonight. Of course, born in Caracas, Venezuela. Shoots in. Single leg here from Talavera gets the takedown for the second time in this round. End of the round, we go to the town. What a great finishing position. You saw as soon as you heard the bell for 10 seconds, Talavera stepped in hard and heavy and went through it knowing that if you get a takedown, you can probably win this round and solidify having it, pulling this round off. Great position, great ducks right at that right hand, steps in nice and high in his first takedown, gets on top, eventually takes the back, and you can see right here, freeze it guys, you can see right here, it's underneath the chin, he's got it set, but then go ahead and run it, but immediately Lewis, you see his biggest hands across, he gets that pushed off. For a guy that's one and one, that's a lot of experience points. Most guys that are five and oh and six and oh can't do it, 
Steph's near this big position. He get, made the one mistake of trying to get back to the haymaker. Gets caught in this takedown. He gets pushed and just honestly, Talavera just hunted it and drained it. Move on, let's go. Move on, let's go. On Frank's fight card in the first on, round, a 10-9er to Ricardo Talavera. He had the two takedowns in the opener. Let's go. Let's go. Talavera trained by Rodrigo Junquera. Fight! Out of 10 Junquera and elite MMA. Second round of three. Good right hand down the tube early on from Rashawn Lewis. He opens up strongly. Looks for that inside leg. He's been peppering it all night so far. Right hand lead. Talavera, a hook cross combination. Inside leg kick again from Rashawn. Then goes to the outside lead thigh. He's got a good set of legs on him, has Rashawn Lewis. Checks the kick to Talavera, who does have a background also in Muay Thai. Started martial arts training six years ago. Ricardo Talavera. Rashawn displaying that patience I spoke about earlier on that he's looking to hone in his blossoming little career. Certainly a entertaining fighter, entertaining personality, Rashawn Lewis. Stiff jab there from Talavera, okay, controlling the center of the cage. You're starting to see Talavera's experience. He's starting to find that little hole for the jab, looking for the big takedown. But back out here, he'll get, he'll get tied up real quick and start going to the headshots. That's experience. He's not more explosive. And honestly, Lewis is much quicker, even off the quick foot motion. There's no way for Talavera to catch him. So he's going to start getting wiser. We saw it right there. We're starting to figure it out by getting his little jabs and getting back inside and tying him up. Tied up against the cage. Knees from Talavera to the right side of the body. Looks for a takedown with his underhooks to Talavera. Still can't execute it. He's very solid. He's Rashawn Lewis, as French mentioned in the first round. And now finally they go to canvas. And Talavera ends up in sign control. That was a lot of work on Talavera's part to finally get this takedown. To really end up in a side position, but still tied up with no real position to get good strikes in. Talavera got the takedown, but he's not in a great position here to finish the fight. Lewis is doing a great job of holding him off. Talavera looking for his third professional victory. Brings in a record of 2-1 and one here tonight. Lewis comes in at 1-1. One and one. Back to the feet. Chance for the knees here for Talavera. Talavera's got a dart choke in. He's got on the far side. We can roll it over. Oh, this is nice work from Talavera. This was always the problem if it went to ground. And can Rashawn Lewis survive here? All right. Talavera needs to get his right leg stepped over. Lewis survives. And he clips him with the left hand. The crowd out of their seats here in Houston. Rashawn Lewis like a house of fire. The thing that's really saving Talavera right now is his Muay Thai experience, where he's keeping his hands up and keeping his head moving just a little bit. Lewis is giving him some big shots. Well, he rue the missed opportunity to accept the choke on Rashawn Lewis. Two rounds down and one remaining. There you go, right here.